typical buffer question, we're asked to identify which one of the following mixtures creates a buffer solution. Um, you should recall that a buffer is a mixture of a weak acid and a weak base. So in this case, we want after reaction to have some amount of hydrofluoric acid and some amount of sodium fluoride present. Okay, and that's a definition of a buffer. Now, in this chemical reaction, we are reacting sodium hydroxide with hydrofluoric acid. And the chemical reaction that we're looking at here is uh, NOH plus HF goes to form NAF, which is the weak base, plus H2O. Okay, so after reaction, we want to have some of this left over and some of this left over. So what we want to look for is a situation where this is the limiting reagent. The limiting reagent will not react with all of the HF. We sometimes call this the uh, reactant in excess. All right. So if we have a reaction where we have 10 moles of HF and only 5 moles of sodium hydroxide, right? The sodium hydroxide is the limiting reactant. Five moles of the sodium hydroxide will react to give you five moles of NaF. Let me just uh, write down some of those numbers so you can visualize that. So if we start out with five and 10, what we get here at the end is uh, five moles of uh, sodium fluoride uh, forming, and of course some water. The five moles of sodium Hydroxide will react with the hydrofluoric acid, so afterwards we'll have five moles of uh, HF remaining. So we have, uh, you know, a pretty perfect buffer here that's an equal molar mixture of sodium fluoride and hydrofluoric acid. So that's the definition of a buffer. So when we look at these choices here, we basically want to find a situation where sodium hydroxide is the limiting reactant. In A, they are mixed in equal quantity. So that's not the choice. In B, it looks like uh, there's an excess of sodium hydroxide. Okay, We're looking for the limiting um, reagent being sodium hydroxide. This is excess sodium hydroxide. In C, all right, here's this, the molarities are both the same. So we have uh, less volume of sodium hydroxide, so less moles of sodium hydroxide compared to hydrofluoric acid. So this right here is going to be the correct answer. That will create a buffer. In D, uh, we have 10 milliliters and 5 milliliters. You might think, well, it looks like we have an excess of the uh, sodium hydroxide, but we have um, different molarities. So you might have to do a little bit of a, a sketch on the side to see that um, how many moles that is. So 0.1 moles of um, moles per liter of sodium hydroxide times uh, 10 milliliters, divide this by a thousand. Okay, so 0.010 uh, liters is the volume here, and multiply these two quantities, and uh, the liters cancel, of course, and we're left with 0 0.001 moles okay, of NaOH. All right, so that's a value. And then we have 5 milliliters of 0.2 molar. All right, so let's do the same uh, conversion of moles. <clears throat> and 5 milliliters is 0 0.005 um, liters, right? You just divide milliliters by 1,000. 5 times 2 is 10. So we have 0. Uh, zero one okay or you could just look at it um, the volume is half the molarity is twice so it's going to be the same amount okay the same number of moles of each reactant so that's an equal uh, molar mixture okay it's not sodium hydroxide limiting reagent so C is the correct answer here only uh, thanks for watching